Yes, hello everyone and uh, welcome to my video. In this video I will show you how to fly directly to a VR station using um, the avionics and uh, our VR indications of course. Um, today we are located um, again around the Daytona Beach International Airport and I will show you again where this is. Um, so here we have the Daytona Airport. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Okay, this is the Daytona Airport. Here we have the Ormond Beach Airport. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, right on this airport we have the um, Ormond Beach VOR. As you can see here, it's a four tag. It's um, identified as Oscar Mike November OMN, and channel is one. I'm sorry, frequency is one one two point six. Channel would be seventy three, which is for military purposes not uh, um, important for us right now and here we have the Morse code okay so we will be using the Ormond VOR and we are located um, somewhere east of the Daytona Beach Airport and uh, our goal today is uh, to figure out how to get directly to the Ormond Beach VOR on the most direct way course or, or most direct course so to say okay so um, what do we have here on the right hand side again we have our avionics sex section I'm sorry um, we have 112.6 that's the frequency of the on beach VOR and um, first step of course as as we also uh, as we always do um, if we work with VOR so if you use them we're gonna after we have dialed in the frequency we're gonna hit this button here so we will switch and you will see an instantaneous um, CDI or needle movement okay so um, what is the next step? The next step basically as always after we have um, tuned in the correct frequency we have to identify the VOR. Okay and I will unfreeze the sim here for a moment. So what we do we're gonna hit the NAV1 as we're using this is the NAV1, NAV2 as it says right here and we're using this instrument um, with NAV1 this would be with NAV2. So as we because we use nav1 we need to hit the uh, nav1 button just to identify the VOR um, the VOR is a Fortec as already mentioned so um, it does have DME so basically we'll also have to um, check if the DME works um, and of course we should double check the um, the VOR Morse code identifier with our um, with the dots and dashes that we see on the map. Okay, so one more time, this is the Morse code I was talking about before. Um, so while we hear that tone, we should double check um, if we have uh, selected the right VOR. And of course, the other uh, reason why we would do it is to figure out if the signals we get from it, if we do, are reliable. Okay. So we have identified the VOR and the DME part works as well. Next thing we want to do, um, we need a two indication, okay? You see the white triangle here pointing up? This is already pointing up, which is actually already the indication that we need. So since we have that, uh, we go ahead and use our OBS Omni Bearing Selector and turn it until we have a centered needle, okay? We need it to f in order to figure out um, which course we have to fly to get direct to the Ormond Beach VOR. Okay, so we keep on turning it until the needle centers. Here we go. And I'll freeze the sim. I was actually a little bit off already. Uh, the other direction. Here we go. So, again, the needle, as we already did with um, the from indication, when we wanted to know where we are from a VOR. Uh, we need the needle to be on dot, uh, sorry, on top of the of the dotted line here, the vertical one, right? Okay, so pretty much we need it centered with a two indication. So we have that, and after we have that, we will just go ahead and read off our course or heading, whatever you would like to call it, on top of that yellow triangle or yellow index up here. Okay, and currently it says about this is 300 or 300 and this is 10 degrees to the right so the, um, 310 so this is basically our new heading we should turn to 310 degrees okay and this is actually what we'll do we're going to take a left turn 310 standard rate turns again it's a 
it's an instrument or an IFR procedure and if we do these we should always use standard rate turns. So we're gonna turn to the left at a standard rate turn again at 3 degrees per second to a heading of 310. And once we get to 310 we will just see what the needle is going to do, okay, our CDI here. Okay, getting closer to 310, you can slowly start to level the plane. Let's do back to straight and level fly. 310. Here we go, that's 310. And now I will freeze the sim again. Now we can see we have turned to a heading of 310, but as you can see the needle or the CDI is still about half has still about a half scale reflection, which means we are not on the course. Um, of 310 which we would like to get each dot representing about uh, 2 degrees so we are about in the middle so something between 4 and 6 so probably 5 5 degrees off and half scale deflection um, we would just use the double of that and double of that will be 10 so a heading of 300 should get us to the selected course that we, that we need in order to get directly to the VOR Okay, so I unfreeze it and I turn to 300. And again, remember, the, the bigger of a correction you put in, of course, the faster you will intercept that course, okay? Um, and here we go, 300. That's not a big correction, but a little bit. So now I want to show you that really quick. Um, let's take the... Uh, flight simulator map here because this will illustrate our flight path. Here we have the arm beach VOR and the 300, I'm sorry, 310 that we want to track is basically somewhere right here. So we will not too far away from it. And for this to make even more sense, I have a sectional chart here that I would like to show you. Um, here we have uh, the Yawn beach VOR. And this is about the 330 three, uh, three, three radial. So um, we would say we wanted the uh, 310, which should be somewhere here. Okay. So hold on. 310. So this is somewhere. This is actually not going. Um, Anyway, this is 270 and 10, 20, 30, so this is three, 300 and 310 would be about 10 degrees off. So our reciprocal would be um, 130, okay? So we are currently located somewhere here, okay? And we need to get to this radial that's passing through the VOR right here all the way up, okay? So it's basically the 130 radial from the Orange Beach and the 310 course to the station. Okay. Back to our um, flight simulation here. So we have half scale deflection and we put in about 10 degrees of correction. That will get us back for sure, but it will take more time. But the, um, the basic correction is usually um, double the needle correct, uh, deflection, okay, to either side if it's a full scale deflection, of course it would be 10, so you should correct at least 20 degrees. Since we only had half a scale deflection, which is 5, we double that, you will get 10. Of course you can take more than 10, you can take 15 or 20. Again, the more correction you put in, the quicker you will probably intercept your course. And then the next thing, which becomes important, you should not wait until this needle is at center before you turn back. Okay, you should always turn back maybe about one dot before it centers, slowly turn back to your course you want to you want to go, like the 310. So it's getting closer to a one dot deflection to the left. So what we go do is we go ahead and um, use half a standard rate turn maybe to slowly turn back to our desired course here of 310. Okay, so here we have three something about 311. I'm sorry, 301, something like that. <clears throat> because if you start to turn back when the needle is centered, you will fly probably a curved path as you always 
as you keep on chasing your needle okay you're not have, you're not keeping it steady and that's what you want you want to keep it steady in the center so here we have 305 and that's almost centered right now okay and here we go it's centered and here we are back on our heading of 310 so currently to pause the sim really quick currently we have a heading of 310 and a course of 310 with a centered needle to indication that's exactly what we want we are about five, four and a half nautical miles to the uh, southeast of the Ormond Beach where you are and um, we will fly that for a few miles now and um, you can see if um, that the needle should stay centered now if you would have wind con wind blowing you around maybe from the south or from the north um, you might have to correct it and even now we have no wind or variable wind which is like very very light um, we even have to correct a little bit to the right but that might also be the reason because I turned back a little bit late before but if it's within center within one dot or two dot deflection it's always okay to correct it okay yeah, so this is basically the procedure again it's like um, figuring out your position from a VOR you tune in identify the station first of course after you have selected the um, right frequency you double check that with the Morse code and the one that's um, depicted on your chart if it's a VFR or a IFR sectional chart that doesn't really matter um, just want to make sure that you're using the correct VOR and um, after you have done that you will turn your OBS until you have a from, uh, two indication and then you will um, keep on turning that until you have a centered needle to know um, which the most direct course to the station is and then you will just go ahead turn to that heading or use it as your new heading turn to it and then you will start to uh, basically track it and tracking is almost, is almost the same procedure all the time Okay, putting in some correction if necessary um, and that's pretty much it okay here we go now we, I put in about five degree correction and the needle as you can see the needle comes back to center and one more thing as you get closer to a station the needle is becoming more sensitive okay and um, you should maybe um, still put in correction in order to keep on on your track but don't put in too much as you can see right now um, I'm probably not too far off but we are getting very close to the station here about five miles which is very close to that um, zone or the cone of confusion where you have no signal coverage so um, don't mess around with your heading too much just keep it steady for a couple of seconds until you until the needle has flipped Oh, sorry the, the flank has flipped from the two to from right now here was from indication and you will see that the needle is coming back to center after maybe a couple of seconds again or at least half scale back you might need to put in some new correction but here we go it's coming back to center it's moving and um, yeah that's uh, basically how you fly directly to a VOR um, when do you use it? Usually when the tower instructs you to fly direct to a VOR station um, for a holding or for an instrument approach. Um, you might need it for your own navigation if you're on road. It depends. Anyway, I hope this uh, tutorial was helpful and um, if you have any questions feel free to ask me. I would be happy to help you. Okay, thanks for watching and um, see you next time. Bye bye.